Well, I'm here in Mexico, and it's rainy and crappy out. <sighs> I was so excited to come on this trip, and it's just been... It's been one of those trips that's like one disaster after the next. It wasn't horrible. Nothing horrible. But, I mean, I should have known. I'm flying in as a hurricane's hitting. That's the way it's going to be. Hey guys, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload. If you don't, you're probably never going to see me because I get lost in like YouTube cyberspace. I don't understand. So today I am going to be talking about our 2017 financial goals. I was originally going to update you in June and then life happened and I never got around to it. So I am here in Mexico and I have a little free time. So I am a able to evaluate the goals that I set forth in January of 2017. These are goals that Mauricio and I planned out for us as a couple. If you have not seen that video, I'll link it in the eye in the sky so you can go and check that out. This is August. I am recording this. So let me tell you financially before I get into our goals, we have paid $40,000 to debt this year so far. So I am hoping in September, September through December that that number is going to go way way, way, way up. Um, but thus far, we have paid $40,000 to debt. So I'm pleased with that. It's $40,000 of debt we don't have anymore. Yay. Goal number one was that I would put 100% of my earnings to from YouTube to debt. So how am I going to figure that out? Well, our base payment that Mauricio and I agreed on solidly was $4,811 every month. And that is up until September. That is the amount we have agreed as a couple we should be putting towards debt. So if I multiply that times eight, because it's August and it's the eighth month, that means we should have put $38,000 toward debt. And I said we've put 40. So that means, yes, in fact, I have put 100% of what I have earned in YouTube earnings toward our debt payment off because it ain't nowhere near $2,000 that I've earned on YouTube. Now, granted, there are other extra payments in there, but you know, this is the easiest way to evaluate. So I'm going to put, yes, we have in fact put 100% of our, my YouTube earnings towards debt. Our second financial goal was that I was going to get a promotion at check. I got a promotion back in April. Well, I got a promotion in March, I think, and I started in April. Financial goal number three is that Mauricio was going to finish college. And this one's almost a check. Mauricio has three weeks left of his last class and he has applied for graduation. And so as soon as that comes through, he'll be getting his diploma. And so, yeah, I'm going to consider this a three quarters check as in just less than a month, it will be completely finished. Financial goal number four was to start sinking funds. And we have in fact started sinking funds and we've increased our sinking funds and they're plodding along. And I don't know if you remember back in April when we had that tax debacle, if you didn't see that video, I'll link it in the eye in the sky as well. Um, those sinking funds saved us, not necessarily what we needed them for. For, but we had the money to pay some of the things. We, we didn't touch all our sinking funds and we did variable things um, to get through it, but we did use some of our sinking fund money there and increased our payments to sinking funds to pay off that tax bill. So that was awesome. And number five of our financial goals is putting 50% of our income to debt. And this one is not going so well. Thus far, we have only put... a um, about 44% of our income to debt. It's not working out the way I wanted it to. And when I say um, our income, that's our take home pay. Um, that 44% is not bad. I am not poo pooing that 44% at all, but it is under our goal. I was really hoping we could get it up around 60%. Maybe when Mauricio um, maybe in September, we'll be able to shift things more towards the 50%. I really, really would like to hit that 50% goal by the end of the year. So that is all I have for you today. Just a quick little video 
you know, just wanted to get that out there so you knew how we were doing with our goals if we were on track. Four out of five for sure, and we're close on number five. So fingers crossed that we can amp that up. This is a little made motivator for us to get up there. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe, and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one, and this one is one that YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!